Lay's chips have been ruling the Indian chip market and now the brand has come up with a unique concept where lots of new ethnic flavors are launched and consumers are encouraged to vote via SMS to choose their favorite four which will be the only ones that survive the slogan which is Bachega Sirf Tastiest. Saif was the final judge as he tasted the favorite four and gave his opinion. Saif seems to have loved all the flavors proposed by the ideators. The first one was Mansi, who came up with cheesy Mexicana, and she was awarded with a check. Shovik, the second ideator, came up with flavor hip hop, honey, and chili. Sounds yum to me. The third ideator is a doctor, and she came up with tangy twist. I am sure all the girls are gonna love that. And the fourth ideator tossed up Mastana mangoes for all those arm lovers. Nasef has been endorsing Lay's for a while. So we asked him how true was this competition or was this just a market gimmick? Pretty much from a finalist level. Um, and th there's been a tremendous process involved, which I I'm sure Deepika will tell you about. Uh, um, much more than me, but I have. This is not the first time I'm meeting uh, the finalists. Um, uh, there's, there's a lot of competitions that happen generally um, that I've been involved in uh, in various forms of media. And, and to be honest with you, this is the most um, uh, honest one in the sense that we've actually come across each other, the finalists and myself, uh, uh, two, three times. Um, I've interviewed them before. We've done photo sessions before. We've spent time with each other. And, um, and talked. I, I even know that, you know, um, with the things they're interested in and I remember my interactions with them much more. There's normally meet and greets are pretty, uh, um, you know, I, I, I think the, the competition winners can often feel a little cheated. But I don't think these guys would, uh, any of them would say that. I think uh, Lays has been, apart from financially, very rewarding to them. Um, I think they've also had a tremendous experience. Um, so I think as brand ambassador, uh, we've met each other at the right time. Sounds good to us, Seth. Now saying goes, chips, chips, a minute on your lips and lifetime on your hips. So I have to ask Seth, does he really sweat it out in the gym so that he can enjoy his bag of chips? No, I wouldn't say that. Like I said, I think uh, anything in excess um, uh, is not a great idea. Um, and uh, no, I mean, uh, obviously not, not work out extra, but I think working out is part of uh, a healthy lifestyle and um, also having a little bit of fun uh, is part of a healthy lifestyle. So Seth enjoys his chips and balances it out with his workouts. Now the actor has gained a lot of muscle earlier. He had a lean physique so we had to ask Seth is he planning to do some action for his movie rather than using a body double. I think that's a question better answered and on some other forum. But it's funny because it's hard to find a body double that looks like you. Most, quite often in, in it's changing now, but um, I remember 10 years ago, I did a really tricky stunt on a motorbike, but my duplicate was a, a very big, very dark guy. So I, I really didn't un understand how that, it, and it looked very bad also. So the hunt for Sev body double is on as he begins to shoot for his movie, Agent Vinod, next month. Till then, I guess he can chill and enjoy the awesome, fabulous flavors of Lay's. The